Every living thing needs energy, from the food you eat, to sunlight for plants, to the gas in your car. Energy is what keeps the world moving. People get energy and fuel from natural resources, which are anything that occurs in nature that we use. Some resources are renewable, and others are non-renewable. Renewable resources are ones that can be replaced within a lifetime, things like wood, fresh water, and sunlight. Non-renewable resources can take millions of years to replenish. That means there's a limited supply. Once they're gone, they're gone. Yet non-renewable resources like oil, gas, and coal are the main energy sources for the world. Using resources affect the environment in different ways. Overuse of renewables like wood or fresh water can throw off the balance of nature, create habitat loss for plants and animals, and make it harder for the environment to replenish itself. Cars, boats, and planes use fossil fuels to run their engines, and we mine these non-renewable resources from the earth. Getting them out of the ground is a messy process that damages the earth and disrupts the balance of nature. Once you mine it, moving the fuel can be dangerous too. When oil spills happen, they endanger entire populations of ocean life. Burning it releases chemicals into the atmosphere that change the environment. Over time, the effect of these chemicals has caused the planet to get warmer. Climate change damages the balance of nature, changes weather, causes natural disasters, and threatens to drive organisms all over the world extinct. As the world's population grows, more resources are being used, so it's a problem that's only getting worse year by year. Climate change is a hard problem to solve because it doesn't feel like we're hurting the environment. Each person only uses a small amount of resources every day, but across the entire world, it adds up. That's why we must use our resources responsibly and conserve them when we can. Some non-renewable resources are running out and others are damaging environments all over the world. And if it keeps happening at this rate, the world will be damaged forever. Climate change can seem like a problem that's too big to solve, but we can all take action in our own lives to help. Some of the best ways we can help are to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce the amount of energy we use and trash we create. Reuse things more than once so that we don't require so many things to be made. And recycle things after we use them so they can be used again. These small changes in the way we live can have a huge impact. If we all take these small steps to do our part, we can solve the giant problem of climate change together.